This is Christy Shear, and I am going to teach you how to make the interactive notebook flat book shown on the right in the pictures below. This one has five flaps, but you could adjust the size of each flap to accommodate more or less. When finished, these flaps can be glued onto an interactive notebook page to make a foldable booklet shown here. All right, let's get started. Let me scroll to a new page here. The first thing I'm going to do is just shrink my screen a little bit so we can see the whole thing and what's going on. And I want to go ahead and start up here with insert, and I'm going to go ahead and add a rectangle. And I'm going to just go down the side of the page here. Once cut out, it will fit perfectly on the pages of a composition notebook, which is what I use for my interactive notebook. I'm going to go ahead and change the shape a little bit. I don't I want no fill and then I like to have a black line. Okay, and then I'm going to right click in here to add text. And I'm going to call this wind vocabulary as pictured in the example. Now it looks like my text isn't showing up, so I'm just going to go up here and change the color of it. Oh, that's still not working. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click again to turn my text the other direction. Okay, if I go ahead and enlarge this. And there I have the first part done. This part where it says win vocabulary, you will glue this strip down and then the flaps will hinge off of this edge. So to go ahead and let's start adding the flaps, we're going to go back to insert shapes and I'm going to pick a rectangle again. And then I'm just going to approximate. I like to use the ruler on the left hand side just to kind of guess about a fourth of the way across. I guess we need five flaps. We'll go a little smaller here. I'll go ahead and right click and change my shape a little bit here. No fill and I like black. And so I don't have to do that every time. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the shape. And then I'm going to paste it four times. So there's one, two, three, and four. Looks like I was a little big here on my flaps. That's a fairly easy fix. Just going to jiggle some stuff around a little bit. And we'll make things a little bit smaller here. And I'll just move everything closer together. Now if you wanted to start with a heavier line to begin with, you would do that in the format shape where I changed the fill and the line color. Now to go ahead and add text to each individual flap here, I'm going to go ahead and right click on the shape, add text, and I'm going to call this one wind. And let's see, we'll highlight it, change the color to black, and then I'm going to enlarge it. And then we'll do the same thing again here. Add text. And then I have high pressure. Go ahead and enlarge that. There we go. And we'll repeat it for the remaining two flaps. Make sure you're clicking on the shape to add the text. If you click in the center, that you're not going to get that option. spelled that wrong. Yep. 
There we go. All right, it's done. Now, if you prefer not to complete this completed foldable flat book on your own, you can purchase this example on my Teachers Pay Teachers store, uh, Science Interactions. And this foldable is $1.50, and it can be edited to your specifications. Thank you.